is an incredible woman. She has cerebral palsy, but that didn't stop her from competing for the crown of Miss USA this past weekend. Please welcome the very inspirational Miss Iowa, Abby Curran. excited to be here today. I can't yeah. believe it at all. Well, we're glad to have you here. Your, your story is absolutely in, incredible. I well, mean, first of all, explain to people who might not know what cerebral palsy is, explain what it is. Um, cerebral palsy has to do with just muscle coordination. Some have severe, some have mild. I was blessed to have mild cerebral palsy, so it just affects the way I walk, my balance a little bit, but... Were you born with it, or does it develop later on? Um, I was born with it, uh -huh. but we didn't find out I had cerebral palsy until I was about two. Um, I would walk, but I wouldn't let go. Uh huh. So, all right. So, have you always wanted to be in a pageant? <laughs> has has this been something as a little girl you grew up saying I'm going to do this? Well, I actually grew up on hog farm. Uh huh. So you know. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good hog. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, I grew up on a hog farm, and so uh, you know, I was with tractors and pigs and mm -hmm. and sheep and all this stuff. And so beauty pageants, I never imagined I would do. We would go to the fair every year and watch it with my parents mm -hmm. and uh, the fair queen pageant. Mm -hmm. And um, then I started watching Miss USA on TV, and so um, it wasn't something that I had planned on doing, but... What, what made you want to do it then? Um, actually, when I was in high school, one of my teachers told me that I couldn't do a pageant because I had cerebral palsy. And so, you know, that just set me out to, to prove you, you it You should have said, walk off. No. <laughs> That drove you. You decided, oh, yes, I can. Well, I mean, I always knew that I could do anything, but uh -huh. it takes someone else to, to tell me that I can't to uh -huh. really motivate me to do something else. So right. I had to, to prove her wrong, and I actually ended up placing in the top ten, so I was excited. And, and, then, and then you won. So, and then what's that like? Um, well, I, I won a local pageant, uh -huh. which I thought couldn't get any better than, you know, the festival queen. Right. And I had just tried. <laughs> yeah, I know, you know, you get your free corn dog and the first ride on the Ferris wheel. Uh -huh. And I was excited. Yeah. And then I just tried um, Iowa USA just for the fun of it. Mm -hmm. I was told that um, some people are meant for the NFL and some aren't. And I'm not meant for the NFL, which in terms of the USA pageants. Mm -hmm. So um, I entered and I dreamed of being in the top ten. And then I was in the top five and the top two, and I won. And I think it just hit me the other day in Vegas that I was actually uh, Miss Iowa, let alone at Miss USA. And I think we have a clip. The first runner-up is Allison Wright. The winner for Miss Iowa USA 2008 is Abby Curran. Amazing. So now you have a, a you can. What's the name of your pageant that, that you've started? Oh, the Miss You Can Do It pageant. You can do it. Um, it's for girls with special needs and challenges, mm -hmm. ages five to twenty-five. It's nonprofit. So. Uh huh. <laughs> Good for you. Thank you. And you're in People magazine. I mean, really, this is this has gained so much attention. It's it's so great that you're you're giving a lot of people a lot of hope and a lot of inspiration. I know when you were when you were training for Miss USA, you had to stop eating something that you love eating. <laughs> I decided to give up on my mint chocolate chip ice cream. So. Uh huh. Well, we want to make up for that, so we're going to give you some mint chocolate chip ice cream. stands now. We'll be right back with Suzanne Summers after this. Don't go away. We found some pictures.